Hello, beautiful humanoids. It is I, Christina, on day six post-op, and uh, what a difference six days make, as I am feeling so much better. I'm uh, off of the pain meds, a lot less loopy than I was last time you saw me. Um, and uh, today was actually the first day that I was able to get back to doing a little bit of exercises and work, because um, the pain and the swelling is so much reduced. I am still like resting it quite a bit, like mostly sitting around. Um, day six in my pajamas. Don't worry, I did change them. I did finally get to take a bath yesterday with my foot hanging out, so that was a big deal. Um, but uh, I have a lot more mobility in the ankle now. I can actually really move it around. I can wiggle my toes um, without any pain. And big freaking deal, today I was able to put some weight and actually walk a little bit. Um, I'm still using the crutch on that side, so it's not like full weight on that leg, but oh, makes such a huge difference. Um, and uh, as long as I don't overdo it, which I have sworn to not do, then um, it's feeling okay and that's feeling like a good sustainable thing to do because I do wanna be putting weight on that foot as soon as possible. Um, I will say that the doctor <laughs> gave me pretty much no guidelines for how to take care of it between surgery and 10 days later when I go in to have him check it. Um, he was just like, yeah, you know, like, uh, keep the bandage on, keep it clean. And, uh, that was it. I was like, any physical therapy anything I'm supposed to be doing? No, nope, don't need it. Cool. So, um, honestly, like, I don't know how people without a lot of knowledge on this stuff deal with this it must be really hard which makes me feel even more like I want to share this experience just in case you're out there going through something similar post surgery and you're like I don't even know what I'm supposed to do like what level of pain is okay and so the guidelines that I've been going on like I said is like does I feel worse after I do something or does it feel okay or is it like a little bit challenging or is it like oh no that felt like uh, it made everything you know really flare up and aggravate it, in which case I stop so today's exercises that I was able to do, um, I started out with um, just stuff for the rest of my body, which is feeling really crunchy from six days of total inactivity. Um, and whenever I don't work out for a while, if I'm sick or traveling or whatever, I always start with um, joint rotations and spinal movement. To me, those are the fundamentals that I need to kind of get my body feeling okay again. So I did a lot of hip internal external rotation. I did a lot of spinal movement extension and rounding. And, um, and I did some basic Pilates rolling up and down and articulating through the spine, leaning forward. Um, and uh, that's just what my body needs. And I think a lot of bodies need if you've been inactive for a while to start to feel good again. And if you are interested in that workout, um, that is something that I have linked below um, and it's part of my regular repertoire. I did that and then I wanted to get into some weight bearing so I just did some very simple um, integrated kinetic neurology style foot pressing down the floor, hips slightly elevated. I started with my knee in towards my chest and then because this leg has gotten very tight from hopping around on it, I added a little hamstring stretch on that side and I did three 60 second holds. And, um, and then in between each one, I did some flexing and pointing and ankle rotation just to get that mobility back into the ankle. And that's it for what I've done for the foot specifically today that feels like all it wants to take but it was really good just to feel like I had the energy and ability and like the freedom from pain to get into the rest of my body and um and take care of it and I'm excited for what's to come and for what I can do with my body um through this rehab so thank you all for watching and for being with me on this exciting journey of surgery and post-op care and now moving into the wonderful world of rehab. All right, everybody, uh, take care, and I will see you next time.